Here's two transitions that just hit. They're simple, smooth, and clean. Let's get straight into it. First, the zoom and warp transition. Start by adding two nulls, trim them to your clip's length, parent your clip to null 1 and null 1 to null 2. Now, open scale on null 1. At the start, set it around 500, then move two or three frames from the end and drop it back to 100. Easy ease those keyframes and copy the value graph you see here. Next, for null 2, set a keyframe for scale around the middle of null 1, then at the end, set it to 40. Easy ease and copy this value graph. Add an adjustment layer, trim it, then add warp. Set the warp style to fisheye. Now where it starts to zoom out, add a keyframe for bend, set it to zero, and then at the end of the clip, go to negative 100. Easy ease and match this value graph. Now add two more nulls and parent the clip to null 3 and null 3 to null 4. Copy null 1's keyframes to null 3 and null 2's to null 4, but move null 4's keyframes to the end of the clip. Add another adjustment layer, trim it, add warp, set bend to negative 100 at the start and zero around the middle. Easy ease those and copy this graph. And that's the zoom and warp transition. It's clean, fast, and super easy to reuse. Next, the fractal noise glitch transition. Start with two clips overlapping, add a black solid, trim it to your clip, then pre-comp it. Inside the pre-comp, add fractal noise, set the fractal type to dynamic, and set the noise type to spline. Open transform and scale it up to 500 or more. At the start, keyframe brightness and contrast, set brightness to 100, then move to the end and set it to the negatives. Do the opposite for contrast. Start high, then lower it so it fades to black. Easy ease those and copy this graph. Now keyframe evolution from the start to the middle. Easy ease and copy this graph too. Back in the main comp, toggle modes so you can see track mat. Select your second clip and select luma inverted mat. Now add an adjustment layer and add s underscore dissolve shake. Set dissolve percent to 25%. At the start, keyframe amplitude to 0 and set frequency to 3. In the middle, raise amplitude to 1 and at the end lower it back down. Easy ease those and copy this graph. Finally, add a null, trim it, and parent your clips and transitions to it. Keyframe scale from the start to zoom in slightly during the transition. You can add position keyframes too if needed. Now this is optional, you can add glitchify, keyframe amount from 0, up, then back down. And that's it. Two transitions that'll instantly make your edits feel smoother. If this helped you, drop a like and let me know which transition you want next. And if you're new here, subscribe for more clean After Effects tutorials every week. Party.